September 14, Monday, Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from the heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in Him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through Him. The Gospel of the Lord That everyone may have eternal life. The cross is a paradox. For non-believers, it is a scandal because the cross is a symbol of torture. But for believers, it is a source of salvation. Two movements of grace happen in the symbol of the cross. In the Incarnation, Jesus is lowered from the heavens, and in the Resurrection, Jesus is lifted up to heaven. The Creed professes that Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, the Incarnation. Afterwards, it proclaims of five actions of Jesus. He suffered, was crucified, died, was buried, and descended to the dead. Then, He rose again from the dead. The Paschal event culminates in Christ's resurrection. It is not the suffering and death of Christ that saves us, for this will make the torturers and executioners as saviors. Rather, the cross is the symbol of the total self-giving love of God in Jesus Christ that makes it redemptive. <music>